Okay, let's go ahead and check some YouTube comments. See what people have to say. Okay, my newest video. How to control your Mac or PC with your iPod or iPhone. Two comments. Wait a second. Wait, what's this? I think it's useless because you cannot see the screen on the iPod Touch. Well, can't see the screen on the iPod Touch, huh? I can fix that. Sure. Totally. I, I can totally fix that. Yeah. Okay, guys, so the last video I made was how to go ahead and control your uh, computer with your iPod Touch or iPhone. And, well, uh, I noticed there's some little problem with the method that I showed you guys. So what I showed you guys was how to use your iPod Touch or iPhone as a mouse and a keyboard to go ahead and control your computer. But what happens if you want to go ahead and actually view your computer screen on your iPod? So let's say you're up some other where, some other part of the house and you want to go ahead and view your computer but you don't want to go down there because you're too lazy and all you have is your iPod. Well anyway in this video I'm going to show you guys how you can use remote desktop on your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad and control your computer, Mac or PC from your iPod Touch or iPad where you can actually see the screen on here for absolutely free. I know the last method cost five dollars but this method is absolutely for free. All you need is a free piece of software called TeamViewer. So anyway, in this video I'm going to show you guys how you go ahead and control your computer from your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad with remote desktop. Okay guys, so what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a few things first. What you're going to need is you're going to need a free application for either your Mac or your PC called TeamViewer, which you can go ahead and download from here, which is TeamViewer.com. Just go ahead and click here, start full version now, it's free. Just go ahead and click that and install it on your computer. It's a universal application, it'll work for both your Mac, your PC, and I think even Linux too. I'll post the link to that in the description. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and install that on your computer, and here should come the TeamViewer application down here. What you want to do is, before we go ahead and launch that up, what we want to do is you want to go to the App Store, so just go to iTunes and go ahead and download this application right here. Download TeamViewer, the free version right here. What you want to do is you just want to go up here into the search bar and type in TeamViewer, and then it should come up to this. Now there's a TeamViewer Pro, which costs $100, but who would go ahead and pay $100 for an application like this? So just go ahead and download TeamViewer for free, the version that says free on it, so just go ahead. Download that, I'm not going to post a link in the description because I don't know how to post iTunes links. So just go ahead and find this, install it, and go ahead and install it on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead down here and launch up TeamViewer for either Mac or Windows. So just go ahead and launch that up, and it should come up to a window that looks like this. So I'm going to go here and expand the partners list, and as you notice here, you're going to have to go ahead and create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in as my TeamViewer account right here. I'm just going to sign in. Now what you're going to need is you're going to need to have two TeamViewer accounts for this. You're going to need to have, you're going to need to be logged into one TeamViewer account on your computer and you're going to need to log into a second TeamViewer account on your uh, iPod Touch or iPhone. You can also use TeamViewer to go ahead and connect computer to computer to remote control another computer from your computer. But in this method I'm going to show you guys how to use your iPod Touch or iPhone. So just go ahead and create an account with TeamViewer. Create one on your computer and create one on your iPod Touch. So anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to my iPod Touch to show you guys how it works. So okay guys, so once you go ahead and have TeamViewer installed on your computer and your iPod Touch and you have both your accounts activated, you should see a TeamViewer application right here. So I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but here's my TeamViewer. So if I go ahead and uh, launch that up right here, as you notice, it should come up to a screen like this, which should say connect to partner. So what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and insert your TeamViewer account right there and your password and go ahead and connect to partner. But first what you want to do is you want to log in. So to log in, just go here to partner list. And what you want to do is you want to have your second account ready and log into it. So as you see here is my second account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into that. And then you want to go here to my partners and go ahead and click on plus to go ahead and add in a partner. And what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and take the information that's given on the team viewer screen in order to go ahead and add in your partner. So anyway, once you have that done, as you see here, I have my partner right here. I'm going to go ahead and click to that. 
information. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and take the information that is on the uh, computer screen, and type that in, and then you should be able to go ahead and connect to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, pause the video, and I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys me connecting to it as well, so let's just go ahead and do that right now. Okay guys, so now I'm here on the computer, as you can see here, I've got my TeamViewer application ready. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have your ID and your password right down here. That is very important, just have your ID and password. So what I'm going to do is, what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and add a partner. And I don't know how well you can see this, but there should be something here that says alias. What you want to do is you want to type in the identification number, which is this right here. You go ahead and go ahead and launch that up. So where it says alias on here, type in the identification number. So I am just going to go ahead and type in the identification number. So let's go ahead and type in that number. So 691, space 936, space and 469. Then I'm just going to go ahead and type in the password. So 4763. And then once that's done, what you do is you just click connect to partner. And it should go ahead and connect you with a little instruction screen. Just go ahead and click continue. And then as you notice, I can move my thumb around and pan. And here, we're controlling our computer's screen at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and I'm going to go ahead and take the computer out of the shot so I can go ahead and just show you how it is on the iPod Touch. Let's go ahead and cut right now. Alright guys, so here I have my iPod Touch. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but if I take it closer, you see my Apple bar up there. If I scroll around, you see a mouse too. I can scroll around to the side of the screen, and as you see here is my Team Viewer window right here. I can go up here. Here's the little thing for screen flow right here. If I just tap it like a trackpad, and it will automatically act like that. Here's spaces, and here's my uh, Team Viewer list. Whoops going to get used to this. So you can just pan around the screen and let's say I wanted to launch up an application. So let's say what I really wanted to look at was something in the finder. So I just opened finder and went ahead and opened on my screen. And I can go ahead and remotely control my computer straight here from my iPod Touch. So let me just go ahead and close out of that. I'm going to minimize Team Viewer for now. And I'm going to go over and minimize this little thing right here. And so now what I'm going to show you guys is these little buttons here at the bottom. So we have an X button right here, which is to go ahead and cancel out of this. We have a keyboard button, which brings up the keyboard right here. We have this little mouse button right here, which is used if you want to right click. We have this, which brings up the minimizing the screen. So as you see here, I can see full screen and just control that from there. But I'd rather have the zoomed in mode. And then here are the settings where you can go ahead and change the settings. So let me just put that down here. I'm not sure how well you can see it. But anyway, if you have your connection info, version info, uh, here if we go to quality, as you notice it went ahead and turned off my desktop background as before. So if I go here to optimize quality, it'll go ahead and optimize the quality so that whenever I click done, as you see here, it looks exactly like it did on my computer with the great graphics. As you see, here's my desktop background. I go up to the top and it looks exactly like it did on my computer. So if I just went ahead and went to something like about this Mac, it looks at something exactly like it was on my computer. Now I'm sorry if you guys are really seeing this badly, but I have a really poorly lit room. So yeah. So anyway. You can go ahead and play with the settings some more, so you can go ahead and click on remove wallpaper, you can show the status bar, uh, I don't know, turn that off, <laughs> you can go ahead and pretty much mess with all of these all the way you want to, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just close out of that, and so anyway that is the Team Viewer application, you can go ahead and use your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPad to remotely control your computer, you can use this on a Mac, a PC or Windows, it's absolutely free as long as you download the free Team Viewer application. So anyway, anyway for that comment on my last video, I hope this solves your problem of actually being able to see your screen on your iPod Touch. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But make sure to go ahead and leave comments and suggestions for more videos in the comments below. So anyway, now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.